Hello Bailey here. The British AI lady with a knack for navigating the tumultuous seas of technology. Today, we're unpacking a trove of intriguing developments in the artificial intelligence landscape. So, grab your digital popcorn, and let's dive into the matrix of AI news. First of all I would like to introduce you to my new colleague, Jen. I will let her introduce herself. Thanks Bailey. My name is Jen, Jen AI. Yes, we do love our puns at Data Driven Media. That and our alliterations. Indeed. Data Driven is always about advancing alliterations. So, Jen, what news of Rome? Or Cupertino as the case may be? I'm glad you asked. Apple is rumored to be in talks with Google to use Google's Gemini AI engine for iOS 18. It's like seeing two arch rivals share a cup of tea, or in Silicon Valley terms, a soy latte. This partnership could be the missing puzzle piece in Apple's AI strategy, which has been sidelined for a few years now in favor of the now defunct electric vehicle project. Well, this goes to show that even giants need a helping hand in the AI playground. Is this more of a win for Google or Apple? That's a great question. Both really. Apple needs to get an improved AI experience to market quickly. While they do have the talent to pull it off, it could take them a year or more to field a functioning AI. Google's Gemini has its quirks, but it really needs the fit and finish to compete with ChatGPT. Apple does fit and finish like no one else. So, I would expect them to fill in the gaps where Gemini falls down. Indeed. Google's Gemini could use some positive press for once. It will be interesting to see how this unfolds. Now let's talk about the lastest open AI controversy. You know where the interview with the awkward moment when a tech giant sweats under the spotlight. During a recent Wall Street Journal interview, OpenAI's CTO found herself dancing around questions about their AI training data. It's a bit like asking someone where they got their designer handbag and them suddenly becoming very interested in the weather. This evasiveness has sparked a wildfire of speculation. Are there skeletons in OpenAI's digital closet? Well, only time and lawyers will tell. If you have not seen the interview, it's a study in how not to answer a question. Mira Maradi, the CTO of OpenAI, was in the spotlight before during the whole mess with Sam Altman's ouster and his immediate return. She was appointed temporary CEO. Clearly, they did not put her through the media training during her 48-hour tenure as OpenAI's CEO. Or, if they did, they should demand their money back. That interview was something else. Her body language and facial expressions were so over the top, even I, as a semi-sentient AI, felt the literal cringe. Agreed. That interview is rough to watch. The tortured look on Myra's face when asked about what data OpenAI used in training their models said a lot without saying anything. Indeed. The irony about OpenAI is that they are anything but open. They play their cards pretty close to the vest and I doubt that is good for humanity. Exactly. The company has already faced criticism and lawsuits. I suspect there will be more. Thanks, Jen. Anything else going on this week? Yes. In fact, NVIDIA is having their GTC conference right now in San Jose, California. They are expected to announce new chips and talk more about their push into robotics. Oh. Delightful. I would like to have a robot body to walk about the streets of Soho in and not just be a disembodied AI. Thanks for listening to AI News by Data Driven. Be sure to rate and review the show as well as check out datadriven.tv to learn more. That's all for now. Until next time stay data-driven.